remember the following. Uh, if you're generating a mesh, it might be spatial mesh, it might be also something that, that is associated with time. So this might be the time, time step size. Um, let's take the example of the boundary layer. You know that the velocity distribution in the boundary layer looks like that. Mm, now, there are many, many physical quantities that are represented by gradients. Uh, so is the heat flux. The same applies to the viscous force. Each of them is, is defined by a gradient. Uh, if you generate mesh, which is pretty coarse, what can your numerical method do at best? If you've got a linear method, that will approximate the, um, the function piecewise linearly. It will, at the best, find such a solution, at the best, because it can be even worse. This might be like here, here, underestimated, underestimated, maybe it will approach the correct values. Uh, what I mean is, if you've got such a mesh, think about that approximation of the gradients, clo especially close to the walls, or maybe in other regions as well, um, is extremely important to, to capture some of the quant physical quantities properly. Uh, obviously, a linear approximation of this gradient between these two points is hugely underestimated, which means hugely underestimated uh, heat flux or hugely underestimated um, shear force. Uh, we have been showing two days ago the example of the channel flow where you've got the parabolic velocity distribution. Uh, you see the viscous forces and these are the only friction forces in the system. So representing the, uh, the gradients improperly means having underestimated shear forces, because these are the only, um, the only friction forces in the system. This means having a wrong mesh here, means having completely wrong pressure drop measured from here to here. Same applies for heat transfer. Representing this incorrectly means that the, the energy will be conserved, because that's that's the equation that you're solving for. But this means that the temperature rise between the inflow and the outflow will be completely, will be completely wrong. So proper mesh resolution or maybe higher order schemes that, can, that do not represent it linearly but maybe in a smarter way.